Once upon a time, in a far-off land, there was a king who had a beautiful daughter named Isabella. She was the most beautiful princess in the kingdom, but she was also the kindest and most generous. Her father, the king, loved her dearly, and he wanted to make sure that she would marry a prince who would love and cherish her as much as he did. One day, the king announced that he would be holding a grand ball, inviting all the princes from neighboring kingdoms to attend. The prince who would win the heart of Princess Isabella would be granted her hand in marriage, and the kingdom would rejoice. The day of the ball arrived, and the palace was decorated with flowers and lights. The princes arrived from far and wide, dressed in their finest clothes and bringing with them the most exquisite gifts. But Princess Isabella was not impressed by their wealth or their gifts. She wanted to find a prince who was kind, brave, and true. As the night wore on, the princes tried to impress her with their dancing and their stories, but none of them captured her heart. Just as she was about to give up hope, a young man appeared at the ball. He was not a prince, but a simple farmer, dressed in humble clothes and carrying nothing but a bouquet of wildflowers. Princess Isabella was intrigued by the young man, and she asked him to dance. As they danced, she discovered that he was kind, brave, and true, just as she had hoped. They talked and laughed together, and she realized that she had found the prince she had been looking for. The other princes were jealous and angry that a simple farmer had won the heart of the princess. They plotted to get rid of him, but the young man was clever and resourceful, and he outwitted them at every turn. In the end, the king saw how much his daughter loved the young man, and he agreed to let them marry. The kingdom rejoiced, and the simple farmer became a prince, living happily ever after with his beloved princess Isabella. And so, the moral of the story is that true love is not measured by wealth or status, but by the kindness and goodness of the heart.